Welcome back to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's Hacking the Sony PlayStation Mini Part 11. Today I'm going to show you how to add the Drastic app which will improve the game quality of your Nintendo DS games and the PPSSPP app that will improve the quality of your Sony PSP games. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is go into the PlayStation through AutoBleam and show you which apps are already installed. So select, select and here are the apps that are installed already. When I go through them, you'll see that I don't have PPSSPP or Drastic. The main reason I'm adding these two apps is because they will improve the emulation of both systems. Nintendo DS and PlayStation Portable games play okay through RetroArch, but they play even better through these apps, through these shortcuts. So that's why I'm installing them. So we're going to work on PPSSPP first. You're going to want to go to this website that's in the description below and scroll down. Once you've found this PPSSPP 1.9.3 mod, click on it and it will download automatically to your computer. So once it's downloaded, you don't really have to do much with it. There it is. Make sure that your external hard drive with AutoBleam 0.9 is also plugged into your computer and create a new folder titled RB underscore patch. RB and patch should be in all caps. Once you've made that folder in the root of your SD card, just bring over the PPSSPP mod, drag it right in there. That's all you need to do at your computer. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to our PlayStation because it needs to load something. So let's go over and do that right now. So back at the PlayStation, we're going to want to press square here to enter RetroArch. As you can see, it's updating. This will take a while. I'm going to fast forward through it. Once it's done updating, you're going to want to press start to go into AutoBleam. Press select. Press select again. And here are your apps. As you can see, I have PPSSPP. So let's click X to go into it. Click X again. And here are our games. It automatically found them. Some of the games will even have theme music with them. So that's all you need to do to install PPSSPP as an app on your PlayStation Mini using AutoBleam 0.9. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to get the Drastic app onto your PlayStation Mini. It's a little bit more complicated, so let's get started. You're going to want to go into this website that's in the description below and you want to download this RB 1.0 patch launcher. So just click on the download button. It will automatically download to your computer. Once it's downloaded, you can extract it. And here's what's in the folder. You want to drag over this RB underscore patch folder into the root of your hard drive. You'll notice that the original RB underscore patch folder for PPSSPP is now gone. So once you've dragged that over, you're going to want to go into this website, which is also in the description below, and you want to download this drastic file. Click on download. It will automatically download to your computer. You're going to want to extract this one too. So going back to the root of your SD card, go into the RB patch folder that will you just put on there and drag this drastic folder into there just like that. That's all you need to do on your computer. Make sure that these folders are on the root of your, S of your hard drive. 
Next, we're going to head over to our PlayStation. So, press square again to enter RetroArch. And it's going to update. Let's press start to go into AutoBleam or Evolution UI. And let's press select and let's press select again. And here are our apps and you can already see there's the Drastic app. So when we go into the Drastic app by pressing X and then press X again, what we're going to do need to do now though is find the folder where our Nintendo DS games are. So it'll be in your ROMs folder of course. In NDS. Now it's important to note that you need to press the circle button when you're in these menus. If you press X it will exit you. So when you're selecting the folder NDS press circle. From here Pick a game to play, any game. Press circle to select the game, not X. If we press X when we're in this menu, or when we're in the game, it will bring us another menu where we can exit, this one right here. So go down to exit drastic and press circle. Now if we go back into the Drastic app, it'll automatically remember where our games are. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you get these two apps onto your PlayStation Mini. And this is how you get Nintendo DS and PlayStation Portable games to play a lot better than they would through RetroArch. Hope you enjoyed watching.